Of course, everyone loves a breakfast burrito. But why then, I asked, does the breakfast taco get so little attention? Well, it's deserving and we're gonna change all that today. I'm working on my next cookbook and I'm writing out uh, the ingredients and the recipe, blah, 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 for a breakfast taco. And I'm thinking, wh why are there not enough breakfast tacos in the world? Everybody's getting the burrito. Give me the burrito. Guess what? A burrito's like this. You've seen us make them. Huge burritos, they're like two and a half, three pounds. Is that the way to start your morning? I ask you, is that the way to start your morning? Sometimes. Oh, really? I eat one of those things for breakfast, I go right back to sleep. At least I get into bed. Pull the covers up a little bit and then watch a movie because I'm tired. I just want to nap and snuggle. That felt a little bit awkward. No, I'm going to put the picture right there of you and Lewis on Father's Day. Stop it. Lewis. Isn't that cute? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a hash browns because a crisp component is very important in here and we will bring them by way of these hash browns. And then some vegetables, and then the whole thing. It's just really how it goes together is, is very, very simple. Oh, a little sauce we've made before. It's my go-to sauce for stuff like this. We're gonna be happy today. Chorizo bacon. Oh, chorizo and bacon. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I, I feel like I don't need to play my entire hand to them, Max, but apparently I do. I think he thinks, if you're watching and you're like, ah, uh, there's nothing here for me, if I mention even maybe one more thing, Bacon, maybe that'll get you. If bacon doesn't get you, chorizo might. But the thought of those two together, it's almost incestuous, both pork products, but in a very delicious way. Here we go. Uh, the hash browns, we'll start by shredding them first. And we begin. Uh, we're gonna peel a potato. Always think it's easier. Start with the ends off, and then you just do this. Obviously, if you don't have a peeler, a little baby knife will work. Sam the Cooking Guy, four inch paring knife would be ideal, but I've chosen to go with the old school peeler right here because well, I like it. And I can do this much faster. And it's not that we're in a super hurry, are we, boys? No. But the earlier we finish, the sooner we get to eat this, right? Hell yeah. And we all like breakfast burritos, so. I'm just gonna grate right into this bowl, and the bowl of water is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna keep the shreds from turning brown. At the same time, get some of the starch out. So, in we go. You know, if you had a processor with the right attachment, you could use it. I think I do, but honestly, it's way more work cleaning that than it is cleaning a shredding thing. What's this called, a shredding, shredding thing? A cheese grater. A grater. God. The shredding thing. The shredding thing. All right. Other side. You know, when you start getting close, you got to be careful. This thing will chew your fingers up to bits, and it is not worth it. Don't be a hero with a shredder. So get as much of this last little bit as we can before we get too scared. And I'm starting to get very scared here. I'm tempting fate now. I better stop. All right. Get all this off. Push everybody down. Now this we can just leave for a bit. We'll give it another rinse or two before we use it, but for now, this is perfect. Put it off to the side and we'll cut some vegetables. Vegetables for the breakfast taco, come on down. Wait, what's that from? Quick. The dating show. Uh, no. The, the new single, single. No. There's a remake of it. They just, Zoe mm. Deschanel is doing it. I just No, I don't think it's come on down. Isn't that? The dating that, game. What's the dating game? The dating game is, uh, is the dating game is, are. and here oh, we are. The price is right. The price is right, yeah. Come on down. Okay, so look, some ratty looking green onions. Don't worry. I'll clean them up. Onion and red pepper. Onion first. We've done this a million times. We cut across like that. Put half away. Root end, not root end, cut the not root end off like that. Give it a quick peel. Hey, onion, I said quick, and this is not quick. The boys are super excited because one of our favorite brands are back, Magic Spoon. Look, we all love cereal, but we're not little kids anymore, and we generally tend to stay away from it because it's packed with sugar, and we don't need that as an adult. And that's where Magic Spoon comes in because there are zero grams of sugar per serving in all the flavors. And that makes us very happy. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. They have six really delicious flavors. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter I love, blueberry, and cinnamon. 
zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Oh, and by the way, each serving is only 140 calories. Look, eat this for breakfast, but also an amazing snack, and we love the taste of all these. Keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. That's quite a lineup. Okay, so to get in on the deliciousness, use my link, magicspoon.com slash SDCG and my code SDCG to get $5 off your order. And there's a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. You know, if it's a fairly tall onion, you can get away with two of these. Just not all the way through. You don't want to cut through that uh, root end. So, but we put a couple of these in, being careful. And then we take our knife and we make small cuts like this. Do you wanna shink? And the thinner you make these, once you cut it again, will the smaller pieces be? So we just wanna do this all the way across. I like that knife, what is it? It's a Sam the Cooking Guy eating chef's knife, uh, Max. That's what it is. Geez, I thought you would've known that. And then when you cut here, boom, that's what you get. You get these little baby pieces. So I think this is all we're gonna need for our purposes today. I'll put this off to the side. I'll push this off to the side like this. And I think this will be enough. So here's my favorite thing is just make long cuts like this, put them together and we cut. You haven't cut yourself in quite a while. No, thank God. Okay, and these guys, ah, ratty looking things. Still, you know, they're my love. But now here's a good example. Here's my typical preparation for a green onion. Cut the hairy end off or the root end. And then whichever is the wibbliest technical term of the outside leaves, when you pull that, it takes a bunch of other junk off and you got a nice piece of green onion. One more for demonstration purposes. Look for the wibbly piece, which is here mostly. And look, off it comes, gorgeous. So we'll get rid of this stuff. I'll cut those kids up. And this guy's okay. This guy's a little thick. And when they're a little thick, I like to take my knife, just run it down the middle. So then when I cut this way, it's not quite so wide and, and big. Careful, careful, and careful. I cut myself when I get careless and I'm coming to the end of something. Okay, all of this can now go into a pan like this. Try not to wipe it out. Good. On the heat. All right, let's add two things. A little shot of oil and a little butter. And we mix. And this we just want to start to soften. Look, they're gonna cook a second time with the potatoes on the flat top. But for right now, this is just a little bit about softening. Gorgeous. That makes me happy. So we'll give this about uh, three, four minutes. And then call it a day and just take it off the heat. All right, these guys, beautiful. Softened, but there's still a touch of crispness. We'll take it off and we'll replace it with some bacon that we want to cook. And I've got three slices of thick cut bacon. I've just cut in half. Oh, instant, smelling amazing. And what's gonna make this so great is this will be our landing spot for our hash browns. They will cook in this bacon grease, which is gonna be Fantastic. All right, so the bacon is starting to get there. Looks nice. Let me just flip these kids around, see how this guy's doing. Oh, man. All right, let's actually get this happening. Hey, come on now. Okay, these middle guys need a bit more. That's all right. We can make this happen. Let's get some trezo on, though. And the trezo I can put here. It's very sticky at first. Pork trezo. Let it start to cook a bit. You'll be able to break it up much better. Love it. See? It's cooking. Honestly, if you're not using trezo, I think you're missing out on a very, very delicious component to all kinds of things. And I apologize if I repeat myself a lot, but not everybody's here for every episode. There's always new people. And I'll just say, the only hard part with cooking chorizo is that it starts out this color and it ends this color. It's not like ground beef that tells you when it's ready by going from 
red to gray. This needs three, four minutes like this at a decent heat to cook it through. And meanwhile, I'll just be working on my bacon. Oh, you're definitely getting splatters right there, buddy. Your fault. No, not my fault. Okay, the trezo for me is done. I'm going to pull it off. Yum. Ah! Oh, my God! God. Ah! Ah, I got shot with frickin' chorizo madness. This must be dealt with here. I don't want to take away the bacon grease, just the chorizo. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Great, great, great. The small guys are done. Let me take them off to a plate with a paper towel on it. All right, fellas, why don't we uh, set back up at the counter and we can start working on our sauce, our potatoes, and then we'll be good. Our little sauce begins with a little sour cream. And when I say a little sour cream, I actually mean that because this is literally all I have. Oh, I did have one from February, but I chose not to use that. Let's throw in some chipotle. About a teaspoon of chipotle to quarter cup of sour cream. Some lime juice. Wow. Great lime. Chance must have rolled that. Pinch of salt and pepper. Chance is just so great, isn't he? And, <laughs> and we mix. By the way, Chance Nation lives all over the subreddit and the Discord, by the way. Come join us. Yes, come join us. This is my go-to. I almost always have some of this in the fridge. It's amazing for everything. Not the least of which could be dipping french fries or tots or onion rings in there. Okay, this is done. Now on to the potatoes. So here's what they look like. They look like they need to be drained because this is not making hash browns. So. I've already drained them once. You want the water coming out clear and that's what's happening. So get as much water out as you can. Now, right here, Maxie. We're gonna put it in a towel like this. So just take a big towel, spread it out. Potatoes in the middle. Fold it up like a hobo pack sack. I don't think they're called hobos anymore. No. I only mean because back in the old movies, they would take one of these things and then they would have like this thing that they would attach it to and they would walk with their belongings down the railroad I'm tracks. Sure I packed uh, something up like that when I ran away once when I was younger. <laughs> I apologize to any hobos. I may have offended in this. Okay, so now you've got this ball of shredded wet potato in here that is not going to make anything near the word crispy. So you squeeze. And this comes out. The easy way to do it is just turn like this. Keep turning. Get as much out as you can. <sighs> and when you've got out as much as you think you can, oh, you're probably good. Or you could give it to Chansey and have him do it, but I'm strong enough. Because Chance is so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes the fun part. We release the potatoes. Is that anything like releasing the Kraken? Exactly what I thought. <laughs> and now we're going to add our veggies. Everything gets mixed together very soon. Calm down. Gorgeous. I love this, man. And now we'll season. Salt and pepper. Decent amount. Garlic powder. Decent amount. Extra little shot of avocado oil on top. What happens now? Somebody. We mix. mix. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gorgeous. Here's what we want to do now. I want one th thin-ish layer. So what is that, a quarter of an inch? Beautiful. Now we just leave it. This is the hardest part, really, because you're doing nothing but waiting waiting for it to get a gorgeous crispy layer on the bottom. So it's gonna take you a few minutes. Don't worry about it, nothing's gonna go crazy here. I'm on sort of medium heat. It's time to flip. And I do this because I want, fine I'm anal, that's why I'm doing this. And when I flip it, I don't want it to be a disaster. But that's what you're going for, nice. 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 Last time I say it. Promise. Nice. Tiny bit more oil. Really pretty. So we're almost there. Look at everything supposed to be happening is happening. Gorgeous. But we do want the bottom side just as crispy. All right. When your tops and your bottoms are both crispy, nice. We can start. So let's take these guys. We'll just push them off to the side for now. 
And we will use this kid as our demonstration model. So just let him finish crisping a bit right there. Now I want to rewarm the chorizo by putting a little bit right beside. Remember, there's bacon that will go on the tortilla by itself. For the chorizo, we're gonna mix in with the eggs. So let's let this start to just warm up a bit. Nobody likes cold chorizo. All right, so the chorizo, perfect, nice. So let's do this. A Little bit of oil, and now we'll add our eggs. I've got two eggs right here beaten, and they're a little bit orangier because I've added, what have I added, Max? A little, soy sauce. a little chipotle chili powder. Damn it. Damn it is right. Okay, so in we go. Chance would have gotten it. <laughs> Chance does everything right. Now bring these kids back. Come on, buddy. Everybody stay here with me. Now, this is what you want. Oh my gosh, come on. Missing something? Here it comes. Some Monterey Jack cheese. Max wanted to use blue cheese, or at the very least, goat cheese. And I said, come on, Max, that'd be ridiculous. That does sound like me. Oh. Holy snap, you know how good this is gonna be? And this does not, I'm not cooking on high heat here, folks. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna tell you that this is about 40 seconds away from being ready. It can finish cooking on its own. So I'm gonna take it and put it on a plate. Oh my God, I'm so in love here. Like this. You guys are gonna change your camera position. I'm throwing a flour tortilla on and we're building. All right, here's what happens. Tortilla happens. First on, some of our chipotle cream. We swipe with the back of our spoon, beautifully like that. Next up, a couple pieces of our bacon, Max. Oh. And then, what everybody's been waiting for, some of this. Oh, I can see hash browns, I can hear hash browns. I know how fantastic this is gonna be. I don't have anything green, and you wanna know something? I'm freaking okay with it. I think it looks fairly innocuous, but there's so much flavor inside this, so much. The peppers, the onions, the chipotle cream sauce, the chorizo, the bacon, and then holding everything together, these gently cooked eggs with the Monterey Jack. And I could not be more of a deserving boy for a bite, so I will. I think you liked it when I held it there the other yeah, day. Yeah, that good? that's perfect. That's he helpful, is it? Perfect. That, look, this is why we use flour tortillas at Not Not and, and why I use them here. I like corn, but when you, you go to smell the inside with corn tortilla, you mostly smell corn tortilla, not the bacon, the chorizo, the egg with the melty. Oh. Holy. This is how you start your day. God bless you four pound burrito people. This is how. You could have this with a little side of fruit, a yogurt, and you're not gonna be napping. No. Carbs, protein, vegetables, dairy, what more do you need? Nothing. Mm. Hey, if you like this, Lewis likes this. Lewis loved it. If you like this, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and remember, we've got a really great giveaway coming. Lewis, we've got a really great giveaway coming up involving the the garlic presses. 20 garlic presses and 20 garlic a whole presses. shitload of other gifts. Oh, prizes. and I forgot. Guess who came up to me today in the uh, supermarket? Who? The manager. Oh. Remember I called out the store for not having a buzzer at the meat counter? Oh, snap. He came up and he said, um, would it be okay if we had a truce for a little bit? I think he's feeling the heat. Word got back to him. And I said, all right, here's our truce, a month. If there's a buzzer there in a month, we're good. If there's not, we have to step up our campaign. We're changing the world. That's right. We are changing the world. This is important. This. This is not about me. I can walk into the back and get meat, but not, never mind. Go make these right now.